Don't let the doggy paddle fool you. This is hard work. We are working with primarily dogs, some cats, to help them rehabilitate from planned surgeries, acute injuries, and daily sort of quality of life issues. Dr. Amy Strout is a veterinarian at MSPCA Angel West in Waltham. Because our animals are aging longer than we have seen them in the past, pet owners are treating their animals a little bit differently and they want to do the right thing by them. So they're seeking out ophthalmologists, dermatologists, and a nutritionist. Strout specializes in canine rehabilitation, much like physical therapy for humans. Rocky is one of her patients. Rocky is an eight-year-old Leonberger, just over about 100 pounds, uh, big guy, but very docile. He basically has an injury in his spinal cord that's making him a little bit wobbly in the back, so he got weak in his hind end, and we are helping to strengthen him. He also had a knee injury in 2018, so collectively we work with Rocky in a low-impact format on land. With low-impact exercises, keep him moving, flexible. This dip in the pool may help beat the heat, but it also helps Rocky grow stronger. We put him in the pool to make sure that he gets full hip extension, full reach in his four limbs, and he seems to enjoy it. I would give and do anything and everything that I can do for this dog. No less than I would do for my kids, because he is that to me, and again, we take on the dog. He didn't ask to be with us. Rocky's owner, Francesca Trevisani, does not have pet insurance, and she pays for these weekly treatments out of pocket. The total cost to date, nearly $1,000. It absolutely is expensive, cost prohibitive. It's, you know, Visa or MasterCard. <laughs> there are payment plans, there are things you can do. Dr. Strauss is very good about home exercises, things that you can do to help with the recovery and do it on your own. So that doesn't always have to be in this formal setting. Rocky is seeing improvement and will soon return to work as a therapy dog. He visits schools, libraries, and VAs around the state, bringing comfort to everyone he meets. Just his mere presence is comforting and loving. He is very intuitive, and I think the dogs do really sense your moods and read your moods even before you know what they are. But the love of a dog, there is nothing like it. This is Ziggy. He is one of four dogs that I have. <laughs> and we got him from a shelter about 10 years ago. Ziggy suffered a leg injury in his backyard, resulting in surgery. I think we paid probably 2000 for the surgery, and then the therapy down here was um, a little over 1000 for 10 visits. Ziggy's vet, Dr. Jennifer Palmer, is taking him through a number of exercises to rebuild his strength. These are Cavaletti exercises. Basically, we want him to walk over with his hind limbs without hopping which he's doing a great job of, so just one leg at a time. It's easier for them to hop when one of their hind limbs hurts, so having him actually have to shift that weight onto his surgical limb is great. That was a cheat, sir, you cheated. It's tough to cheat on the balance board. So this is a balance exercise. So this works in a couple of different ways. First and foremost, it just makes him put weight down through that leg as he balances on the unstable surface. What it's also doing is actually strengthening his other limbs and his core. Good boy. Can you do 15 more seconds, sir? So now I'm gonna use this more as a ramp. So going up and down inclines is also a good way to force them to place their leg and it shifts their weight between their front and their hind limbs. He's doing very well. He looks really great. What we keep an eye on is how is he bearing weight while he's walking? Is he limping? Is he placing it? He places his left hind limb 100% of the time and then you know he, he bears really good weight on it. Can I see him do some sit to stands? That's almost like a doggy squat. The next phase of the treatment is high tech. Can you come over here, love bug? Good work. Good work, you did it. This is low level laser therapy. It's supposed to increase blood flow to the area, decrease inflammation, decrease pain, expedite healing. Some people think it has an effect on cartilage, so I'm using it on his surgical knee. Ziggy won't be swimming in the pool today like Rocky. Instead, a different form of water therapy is planned. Good boy. Ziggy's in the underwater treadmill. He's feeling some buoyancy to take some pressure off of his joints and hopefully make it easier for him to use that left hind limb. And we're hoping to remind him of how to use the left hind limb in sort of a more normal gait, which you can see he's using it really well in here. He has much less of a limp than when he was on land, which is fabulous. Ziggy's owner, Robin DeFrancisco, is pleased with Ziggy's progress. The thousands that she spent helping him walk again, worth it. Definitely worth it. It's unconditional love.
That's incredible. I've mm -hmm. never seen anything mm -hmm. like it. And Angel Medical Center treats over 85,000 animals a year. That translates to 230 pets, patients a day. Yeah, and it's come a long way, the treatment has. At MSPC Angel, you know, it's not just cats and dogs mm -hmm. anymore. They have this whole rabbit and rodent dentistry program. Wow. They have a reptile medicine program. And they remind you, as always, that if you are looking for a pet, try their animal shelter first before right. you go out and buy a pet somewhere else. Okay, next, when the human canine connection breaks.